Yeah, we gonna do it up For them nights in the past we ain't do enough For the unforgettable nights we couldn't take in Cause we were too busy cause a little gin Now only until we speak with up My city love me so whenever I'm home I get the message of saying that it is all How we doing folks, Crown the Eric here And sorry I'm a little late about this video I totally botched the footage And I'm gonna give you something different than I originally actually had filmed This to me is really cool Um, I did an unboxing earlier this week of a loot crate So I'm gonna do an unboxing of something that I picked up the other day, Black Friday shopping. So, without further ado, here we go. I'm gonna unbox this really, really awesome, cool um, card set. Now, you may be like wondering what exactly the title says. What is exactly Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, Yu-Gi-Oh was a card game that came out in 1996. It was also a featured anime that was very popular and still is very popular. At least the original, to me, is very popular still. That what came out in 2002, and what I picked up was. <clears throat> Yugi's Legendary Decks, which is really cool. I like the box. It's very Egyptian, which is basically the show itself was very Egyptian-y. And it comes with Yugi's Exodia Deck, Yugi's Battle City Deck, and Yugi's Gadget Deck. And there's other stuff included, which I'll get to, which is really cool as well. So, let me open this up. <clears throat> oh, wow. I haven't touched these in a while. I haven't had these in a while, but... It comes with new cards. It comes with new cards. The electromagnetic turtle. Let me break this open here. Wow. Electromagnetic turtle. That's a new one. Dark renewal. Dark renewal. Black illusion. That's a trap card. Oh, whoa. If you actually watch the show. These are the thing, these are the uh, blank cards right here that were set for the invitation to go to Duelist Kingdom. The set sail, Duelist Kingdom itself, and Glory of the King's Hand, which was the card that Joey wins all the prize money for. Sorry if you guys haven't seen the anime, but that's what it is. Oh, no fucking, pardon my French, no way. The Egyptian God cards. Slife of the Sky Dragon. <clears throat> Obelisk the Torvente, which is my favorite. <clears throat> and the Winged Dragon of Ra, which is another favorite. These are really cool. And it's even cooler because the backs. Obelisk is blue, Slifer is red, and the Winged Dragon of Ra is yellow. That's really cool. These were these are these came in the second season of the show. These are great. The Winged Dragon of Ra in Slifer, but my favorite was Obelisk the Tormentor, only because when he got summoned, he destroyed the whole field and dealt 4,000 damage. So that's really cool. Let's put those back in order. <laughs> so yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a very popular thing. I used to play it a lot, and look, oh, this is cool. It's a token. But uh, it's, it's Yu-Gi Moto. That's really cool. <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! for me was a very popular anime, card anime, because it really showed them playing. Then there was another card anime that came out later called uh, Duel Masters, and that really didn't stand the test of time. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is still a very popular card game. It's still played by a lot of people. I'm just going to put these back in this packaging to protect them until I get card protectors from them. But Duel Masters wasn't very test of time worthy. Yu-Gi-Oh! still stands. There's actually still shows and animes based on it. So... It's really cool. Exodia. The Forbidden One. This is Yugi's Exodia deck. And they're all 40 cards. So I'm pretty pumped. So if I can actually get this open. As you can see, I can't unbox things properly ever. So let's see what we got here besides Exodia. Obviously, you should have the parts, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Here it is. Here we are right here. <laughs> Exodia and all the parts. Now, Exodia was awesome in the anime, and it's also awesome in the card game, because if you assemble all five parts of him, you win instantly. So if you draw all five parts in your hand, you win instantly, which is really awesome. So, just going to shuffle those in the back here. <clears throat> okay. He's got Black Luster Soldier. 
Black Luster Soldier Envoy Beginning. Oh, wow. This is totally different from the show. Like, this is the Black Luster Soldier. This is a ritual card. Then we got Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. The ever so famous Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Oh man, these are sweet. This is like the deck that I had when not everything like Summon Skull, Guy of the Fierce Knight, Cursed Dragon, Catapult Turtle, Celtic Guardian, Winged Dragon, Guardian Fortress. This is so awesome. This is so nostalgic for me. I didn't even open these beforehand. Grifori, Mystical Elf, Giant Soldier of Stone, Mammoth Graveyard, Karibo. <laughs> yeah. Monster Reborn. Oh, these are so great. The Mystic Box. Of course, when I had all these, these were all like shiny. My deck was so rare. Monster Recovery, Spell Shattering Arrow, the Unicorn, Mystical Burning Land. And then, oh my god. Polymerization, the Black Luster Ritual. Oh, Mirror Force. Magical Hats, the Eye of True Shift. Oh, and cool, they even give you Guy of the Dragon Champion. That's awesome. Alright. That's, that's the Exodia deck. Right, we're going to move on to <clears throat> the Battle City deck, which has got Valkyrian the Magna Warrior, which is, he's awesome. I like this guy. Because he has to be summoned by having all the other Magnet Warriors together, which is. Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. <laughs> so let's all right, open this up. There's Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior. Oh, yeah. This, here's an exclusive. This is the Red Dark Magician. This was the, like the evil Dark Magician that the uh, spell guy, Arc something, it started with an A, had in the Battle City tournament because this is the Battle City deck. Another dark magic or dark magic magician girl, but she's different. That one's cool. Oh, so another swords are viewing light. Oh, mirror force. Another mirror force that's all holographic this time. Oh, Buster Blader, Archfiend of Guildford, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight. Oh, those are part of the movie too. He'd even had oh, that was awesome. Birthmet, Gazelle. Ah, there they are. <clears throat> Here they are. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, which make Valkyrian the Magna Warrior. That's sweet. Oh, Big Shield Gardena. Karibo again. Monster Reborn. Dark Magic Curtain. Thousand Nine. Oh, these are so great. These are so great. You don't even understand. The Fusion Wave. I had all these cards before. Before I sold them all. I, yeah, I sold them all. And I think no one was ever playing again, but... Uh, just... The nostalgia of this is so much fun for me. Defusion, multiply again, more magical heads, more. Oh man, this is so great! I hope I can play. I hope I get my friends back into playing this. Oh, Chimera, the flying mythical beast, polymerization for Gazelle and Berthamet. Oh, that was such a cool card. <laughs> so cool. And we're moving on to the last set, of the last deck right here. Which is the gadget deck, and I'm already excited because the very first card is a card I remember having, and I got the summon a lot because of me being always using the UE type deck when I was playing this game. I was really good at like using the spellcasters, which is this is the very first card is the Magician of Black Chaos, which is that was a fly, which is the uh, a ritual with the black magic ritual it's like the upgraded version of like the dark magician oh, oh even better even better it gives me the dark magician of chaos which is like lesser than the uh than magician of chaos or magician of black chaos that's awesome oh i had him too silent magician level eight ah oh. There's my boy, Dark Magician. Oh man, I, I used to roll with the Dark Magician deck so bad. Gold Sarcophagus, that's pretty cool. And we got, oh, these are great. Silent Swordsman, Silent Level. This is supposed to be a gadget deck. Now, I don't remember the gadget deck, 
maybe this was part of the Yu-Gi-Oh, like the Yu-Gi-Oh series that was like, they were in school. I don't remember this one so much. So, oh, another Dark Magician Girl, another Buster Blader, the Tricky Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight. Oh yeah, here we go. Gadgets, yeah. Yellow, yellow, green, and red gadget. That's pretty cool. Oh, the skilled dark magician. Skilled white magician. <laughs> little block man. Oh, fucking Christ. The marshmallow. This card was actually, this card's actually really good. And everything. <clears throat> this card was good. And this card, just, I screwed some people over that card. Another Karibo, because that was the thing. You, you always had the Karibo. Oh man, this is so great. These cards are so great. Dark Magic Tag. The Magicians Unite. Dedication through Light. If you trigger one Dark Magician spell, so I'm to... Oh yeah! The Black Magic Witch Roll. Tricky Spell 4. Emblem Dragon Destroy. Marshmallow Glasses. <laughs> Dude, these cards are so great. This is bringing me so back. And then the ultimate, like, fusion, though it was kind of a weird fusion, the Dark Paladin, which was Buster Blader and Dark Magician together. These cards are so cool, man. These cards are so cool. Just gonna put this back right in here. That's so cool. So, yeah, if you guys never played Yu-Gi-Oh!, this is what Yu-Gi-Oh! is. It's just monster cards and spell cards and trap cards. It's, it's never really... It got it got really popular and it's still I feel really popular because it it's on Netflix and I've been watching Yu Gi Oh, and the the show was just was great but the cards were even fun. It was really fun when I first got my deck. My very first deck was the Yu Gi deck and it was it had the Dark Magician and it was like the very first structured deck that they had. And my friend Scott got the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. He got the Kaiba deck and it was awesome. We would battle back and forth for like all that and then the packs came out in the expansion packs and everything it was so great i i love this i think this is a great thing if you love Yu-Gi-Oh, this yugi's legendary decks is great to have and i i love it so that's what i wanted to show off today i'm sorry if i did this video too late and i'm sorry if anybody doesn't like this video but i wanted to do this video because this was so cool this is a part of something that i did as a child this is part of my childhood so i'm really happy with that so without further ado, that's what I wanted to show you. Unbox Yu-Gi's Legendary Decks from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Trading Card Game. So, without further ado, please, please, please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you're brand new. And comment down below if you guys still play Yu-Gi-Oh! If you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! If you love the show, if you ever played any of the games that came out on the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy Color, and the fall, like on the GameCube, which was the False Bound Kingdom, the... Duelist of the Roses, which was on the PS2, which was awesome. That was a highly popular game and all that. So please comment down below if you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh!, if you like the cards. It was a great, great show, and it still is a great show. I'm still watching it. I'm like watching it right now in my room as we speak. So please do that. Please comment down below. I love comments. I love the feedback. I love feedback. So please, please, please comment. I love feedback. I love talking with you guys. It's so great. As well as please follow all my friends in the credits, which is... Grown Children, Halloween Heartthrob, The Goat Demon, and AJ Fireball. All of them support me very well. I love the support that they give me, and I love the support that I give them back by sharing their videos and giving them little blurbs about what their videos are about. It's really fun. So please follow them as well. And I'm going to be at you guys with a new video next Wednesday. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I hope everyone's safe and not beat up from Black Friday as well. And I hope your, uh, your wallets are okay and intact but hopefully they're not beat up and you guys can carry on until next payday so i'm out of here i'm gonna go watch some more Yu Gi Oh and maybe play myself with these decks because i don't know if anybody else plays Yu Gi Oh. so when this video gets posted i hope someone will challenge me to a duel i will gladly take you on with exodia or the gadget deck or the battle city deck. i will i will whoop everybody with a dark magician i'm getting i no doubt so I'm out of here. Have a great one. Crown the XL. Bye now. Enjoy these credits. And for anybody actually knowing, because some people actually gave me a question, like, oh, what's the ending credit? It is actually the Proto Man Whistle Concert 
from Mega Man, which is another video. I'll probably do. I'll know. I'll do that next week. I'll do Mega Man because I just bought a Mega Man game not too long ago that I've been playing, and I'll show you some Mega Man stuff as well. So I'm out. Have a good one. Bye now.